Hi guys, in this video I will discuss some basic details of nervous system and its division. Okay, see here. Nervous system along with endocrine system. Endocrine system. These two will work in regulation of various body functions. Right? Nervous system and endocrine system regulates other body functions. That's why nervous system is called master system. Okay. No. Uh, with this brief introduction, I will discuss the uh, this flow chart. Okay, the division of nervous system. See here, here is nervous system. Nervous system. Nervous system is basically divided into central nervous system, that is CNS, and peripheral nervous system, PNS. Okay. Now, central nervous system is again divided into brain and sp spinal cord. Brain and spinal cord and peripheral nervous system is divided into efferent efferent and afferent parts efferent is nothing but motor nervous nervous system motor they are motor nerves this afferent means sensory nerves okay again efferent nervous system is again divided into ans autonomic nervous system and somatic and ans is also called as visceral okay visceral and somatic efferent motor system now again ans is divided into three parts that is first one is parasympathetic second one is sympathetic and finally enteric nervous system which is present in the uh, GI tract entero enteric nervous system right so here efferent means the nerve fibers which supply effectors effectors are example for effectors are muscles right skeletal muscles see the efferent fibers carry information motor signals from the brain to the muscles okay that is clear afferent fibers carry information from the sensory organ for example skin uh, sensory stimulus that is touch stimulus to the cns to the somatosensory area in the brain okay now the ans visceral motor system ans supplies smooth muscles of the visceral organs okay and also ANS supply cardiac muscle which is also involuntary right and glands also glands are also involuntary autonomic nervous system supplies smooth muscles of visceral organs cardiac muscles and glandular tissue okay now somatic somatic fibers are the fibers which supply the so somatic organs like muscles muscles only right and ANS is again divided into parasympathetic sympathetic enteric ANS, ANS is again a big chapter I will discuss in another video now I will I will discuss in detail the classification and details of everything that is concerned to nervous system okay up till now I have discussed the flow chart of the nervous system division okay from now onwards I will discuss every detail of this division of nervous system okay firstly nervous system is divided according to first criteria anatomically this is the criteria anatomical division anatomically anatomical division okay anatomically nervous system is divided into central nervous system and peripheral nervous system pns okay in this figure you can see the central nervous system is brain and spinal cord okay brain plus spinal cord now the peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system consists of 12 pairs of cranial nerves cranial nerves okay in this figure the nerves that are written in green color are the cranial nerves okay for example this is olfactory nerve 
optic nerve like this there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves okay that is included under peripheral nervous system outside the brain and spinal cord see uh keep this in mind the pns consists of every nerve nerve tissue nerve tissue all nerve tissue except brain and spinal cord okay except brain and spinal cord one 12 pairs of cranial nerves second 31 pairs of spinal nerves pairs of spinal nerves see here here from c1 to c4 c1 to c4 this forms cervical plexus plexus this is uh, this plexus is formed by spinal nerves only okay there are 31 pairs right on the both side now i will discuss only on this side c1 to c4 forms cervical plexus plexus from c5 to c5 c6 c7 c8 and t1 t1 this spinal nerves forms brachial plexus so you are thinking what is meant by plexus plexus are nothing but network of nerve fibers that's it okay now from t1 t2 to t12 these are thoracic outflow okay thoracic nerves thoracic nerves from l1 to l5 this uh, group of spinal nerves forms lumbar plexus lumbar plexus right and again sacral plexus uh, almost these are interrelated with each other that's why the sacral plexus forms from l4 l5 up to s4 sacral plexus plexus and final is coccygeal plexus plexus right now these are the 31 pairs of spinal nerves 12 pairs of cranial nerves are included under peripheral nervous system in, addi in addition to these two another kind of uh, nervous tissue that is included under pns are ganglia 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 of what ganglia of cranial nerves and spinal nerves you know dorsal root ganglion right ganglion is nothing but what a collection of cell bodies of the neuron right ganglia of cranial nerves and ganglia of spinal nerves so this is included under pns now this is the anatomical division so anatomical division of nervous system is over now functional division that is functional division functional classification of nervous system functionally it is divided into efferent and afferent nervous system what are those let me see uh, right afferent here afferent and efferent nervous system right afferent is nothing but sensory system efferent is nothing but motor system right see here in afferent and efferent you can see both somatic and visceral type right i will discuss somatic first the somatic see here afferent are sensory right so sensory receptors in the somatic system is like skin touch receptor or proprioceptive receptors in joints and muscle spindle spindle right see the stimulus from these receptor goes via sen sensory somatic somatic sensory fibers somatic sensory fibers right to cns and from cns again via somatic motor fibers they reach effectors what are effectors somatic organs only like muscle etc these are somatic motor fibers somatic motor fibers okay 
Now see here, the somatic system is over. As I said previously, afferent or efferent is the main functional classification. Afferent and afferent and efferent types consist of somatic and visceral also, right? Somatic is over. Now visceral, visceral, afferent, visceral, afferent. What are those uh, the receptors present in the visceral organs, right? Sensory receptors inside visceral organs. Organs, right? They give sensory stimulus to the CNS via visceral afferent or sensory fibers, right? From CNS, again, impulses goes to visceral organs organs cardiac muscle cardiac muscles are also involuntary right that's why i'm writing and gland tissue glandular tissue glands via what nerves visceral efferent fibers fibers Please note, visceral efferent fibers are also called as ANS, autonomic nervous system. Okay, this is the functional classification. What is the classification? Uh, the nervous system is divided into two parts according to functional classification, afferent and efferent fibers. See here, CNS is common here. In previously, previous classification, that is anatomic class classification, we separated CNS from the PNS, right? Here, I have integ integrated CNS and PNS in the functional classification. See here, how? Uh, these are peripheral nerves, right? The sensory fibers are also peripheral nerves. Here, CNS is also involved. Of CNS, that is, the sensory areas, sensory areas are considered in afferent part. The motor areas in the CNS brain is considered in the efferent part, right? This is how CNS is divided and integrated with PNS, right? These are PNS only, the four boxes. And uh, the C CNS is also integrated by dividing into sensory areas and motor areas. This is the function classification of nervous system. Up till now, I have discussed the classification of nervous system. Nervous system means what? All the nervous tissue considered as a whole in the body, right? That whole chunk is divided there. What are those divisions? One, according to anatomical division. Second, according to functional division right that is nervous system from now onwards i will discuss the details of a single neuron and its division details of what single neuron and division of neuron types of neurons right see here the whole nervous tissue consists of only two types of cells two cell two types of cells what are those number one you know neuron and the second type of cell is neuroglia Okay, neuron is the basic structural and functional unit of nervous system. Structural and functional unit of nervous system. But neuroglia is nothing but a supporting cells. Supporting cells. Which along with the neuron helps in the conduction of impulses, right? These are the two types of cells that are found in the nervous tissue in the human body. Okay. Now, see here, classification of neuron. I will discuss the details of neuroglia later. First, I will discuss details of neuron here. Neuron. Neuron classification. Again, if classification comes into picture, there is anatomical classification and functional classification. Firstly, I will discuss anatomical classification. Please remember, in the anatomical classification itself, there are two, two ways of classifying, classifying them. I will discuss the first way, first way. First way is according to polarity. This is the criteria for in the anatomical classification. According to polarity. Right? And the second type of anatomical classification is 
according to size of neuron size of nerve cell okay firstly i will discuss the uh, classification according to polarity under anatomical classification physiological classification is different i will discuss later okay see here anatomically according to polarity the neurons are divided into unipolar or pseudo unipolar unipolar how these two kinds of uh, neurons consists of only one process this is only one process right and it is connected to a cell body at the t junction this is this appears like a t right it, it is called t junction and it is attached to the cell body only one process you can see so this type this kind of uh, neurons are found in the dorsal root ganglion of the spinal cord right drg dorsal root ganglion and another place you can see is sensory ganglion sensory ganglion ganglion is nothing but what it's a collection of cell bodies outside the cns right in the pns collection of cell body in the pns that is peripheral nervous system is called a ganglia collection of cell bodies in the cns is called nuclei please remember that ganglia of say of cranial nerves okay simple so now the second type bipolar bipolar neuron see here it has one dendrite one dendrite and one axon here there is only one process one process here one axon when when dendrite and one axon that why that's why it is called bipolar and it is found in olfactory epithelium that means it's concerned with nose right smell olfactory epithelium you know there is olfactory bulb right uh, there you can find these kind of bipolar neurons and the second place is in the retina and finally the cochlear and vestibular nerve cochlear and vestibular cranial nerve ganglia okay here here you can see the bipolar neurons next thirdly the multipolar this is easier multipolar simple difference is it consists of many dendrites 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 and one axon okay simple and it is found in most of the cns most portion of cns consists of multipolar neurons only right like descending pathways like that next another when another place is ans autonomic nervous system ganglion inside those ganglia you can see multipolar neuron okay this is the anatomical classification in particular according to polarity okay under anatomical classification i have discussed according to polarity criteria now i'll discuss according to size okay according to size the neurons are classified into golgi type 1 and golgi type 2 cells they are golgi type 1 and golgi type 2 okay according to size only see here in golgi type 1 cells may be as long as 1 meter for example descending pathways okay from the cerebral cortex they may the axon may be as long as 1 meter maybe sometimes right so another example is the cells uh, cells in the anterior horn anterior horn cells are also on come under golgi type 1 cells horn cell right in the spinal cord this is the anterior horn right this is the posterior horn cells in the anterior horn belongs to golgi type 1 type see here uh, the second uh, place you can find uh, golgi type 1 cells are purkinje cells cells in cerebellum okay it has one long axon with like bushy appearance of dendrites and now the example for golgi type 2 cell is stellate cell 
cell star shaped cell it has only dendritic process right dendrite only and it is smaller in size this is uh, nothing but a inhibitory interneuron that connects the purkinje cells in the cerebellum molecular layer right so according to size this is the classification larger ones smaller ones okay now the second way of classifying neuron is as i said previously one is anatomical and the second is functional right functional function classification according to functional classification the neurons are classified into two types sensory and motor simple one is sensory second one is motor right see here sensory neurons are again divided into three types primary secondary tertiary so what are those simple as it is see here the red color neuron this is called primary neuron so primary sensory neuron why it is primary because it accepts the touch stimulus or any other kind of uh, sensory stimulus from the sense organ and its cell body is located in the dorsal root ganglion and it supplies to the second order neuron okay so this is the second order neuron sensory neuron the cell body of this is located in the medulla or any uh, it is one kind of example right in another neurons the usually the cell the cell bodies of the second order sensory neurons are located in the brain stem brain stem consists of medulla oblongata also right here i have taken the example of medulla medulla the cell bodies of primary sensory neuron is located in the dorsal root ganglion of spinal nerve and the cell body of second second order or secondary sensory neuron is located in the brain stem here i have taken medulla example and the third tertiary sensory neuron the cell body is usually located in the thalamus this is thalamus right thalamus is, belongs to diencephalon right in the brain okay this is the one type of classification that is sensory second type is motor you know motor carries uh, information from the brain to other effector organs right so the cells that are present in the cerebral cortex okay cerebral cortex this is cerebral cortex and the cells that are present inside the brain stem we have separate name for these kind of cells the cells that are present inside the cerebral cortex are given as upper motor neurons the cell bodies that are present in the brain stem that are that a, the name is given as lower motor neuron okay the cell body of the neuron with cell body inside what cerebral cortex the neurons with cell body inside brain stem is called lower motor neuron lower motor neuron again motor neuron consists of upper motor and lower motor neuron this is upper motor right simple the details of neuron is over as i said previously now i will discuss the neuroglia that is the supporting cells of the nervous tissue right neuroglia is basically considered under two ways the neuroglia present in cns and the neuroglia present in pns central central nervous system and peripheral nervous system right the neuroglia present in cns is divided are divided into four types right four types the neuroglia present inside the pns that is peripheral nervous system are divided into two groups right two types the first type in the cns is the asterocytes means star shaped right as you see here it is in star shaped and it is responsible for these are called food processes okay and it is connected with capillaries that that's why it is responsible for maintenance of blood brain barrier 
so that it won't allow toxic material to enter the cns via the capillaries right the blood in the capillaries so astrocytes is complete second type is ependymal cells ependymal cells so these cell mainly line the ventricles and central canal central canal of spinal cord and ventricles of brain okay ventricles lateral ventricles third ventricle fourth ventricle right they line the inner walls of the ventricles what ependymal cells right the next type is oligodendrocytes dendrocytes right oligodendrocytes the oligo they are fewer in number right oligo means less right fewer in number and the function of this is production of myelin sheath myelin sheath inside the cns around the axons in the cns right the myelin sheath production in the pns is done by schwann cells so th these cells are similar to schwann cells but they are present in the cns schwann cells are present in the pns okay and the fourth type of neuroglia cells in the cns is microglia please remember these are derived derived from the fetal monocytes blood cells wbc right they are involved in phagocytosis these are foreign materials are uh, like any infection they result in phagocytosis please remember this is this one is an important note note all these three cells 1 2 3 are derived from ectoderm okay nervous tissue is derived from ectoderm right these are the cells are derived from ectoderm but the microglia is derived from mesoderm because these cells are derived from fetal monocytes which migrate from blood to cns that's why these are derived from mesoderm these three are derived from ectoderm so the neuroglia cells in the pns are two types as i said previously one is satellite cells sorry satellite cells satellites are satellite cells are present in cerebellum in the molecular layer upper up, upper half uh, and the satellite cells are present in the cerebellum satellite cells are present in the pns peripheral nervous system satellite you know the meaning of satellite which is which goes around something like moon goes around the earth that is why moon is called natural satellite of earth right it present around the is some kind of body so in pns these satellite cells are these these are present around the cell body and support the cell body okay the function is supporting the cell body in the pns and the second type is schwann cell you know schwann cell speciality they produce myelin sheath in pns myelin sheath in pns is produced by myelin sheath is produced by schwann cells in pns myelin sheath is produced by oligodendrocytes in cns please remember the difference okay so these are some details of neuroglia cells lastly i will discuss some the terminologies that are frequently used in neurology that is study of nervous system right the nerve fiber what is meant by nerve fiber it is nothing but axon nerve fiber is an axon right so what is meant by nerve bundle of axon bundle of axon or or what nerve fiber right so what is meant by tract simple bundle of axon only axon or nerve fiber only what makes this difference between nerve and a tract see only difference is the nerve is present in the pns peripheral nervous system and the tract is present inside the cns central nervous system okay now a ganglion a ganglion is a collection of cell bodies of neuron cell bodies here nucleus is also same 
collection of cell bodies only the difference is for ganglion it is present in the pns peripheral nervous system the nucleus it is present in the brain cns okay next what is meant by nerve plexus it is simple network of nerves right narrow groups forming a network among each other that's why if you like my work please hit that subscribe button and help me to grow